Um, hate speech is freedom of speech. Therefore, Google is wrong for censoring it even. Uh, in a sense that it's wrong for censoring porn because every child learns about it. Um, everybody learns about it at some point or another. Uh, he goes on to say, internet hurt with a question mark. Now, that is ultimately confusing to me. Uh, I don't even know why you would say that. Obviously, he doesn't rationalize too well to be asking if the internet hurts. Uh, but I don't think he's doing that. I think that he's saying uh, that Google is blocking porn and hate speech, etc. Because it would hurt somebody's emotions through the internet. Uh, big fucking deal, man. Everybody's emotions get hurt every single day. Uh... You know, so in a sense, nothing should be censored. If I give you the finger, a bar doesn't pop up and censor that shit, does it? If I go up to a little child and I give it the finger and teach it what it is, it doesn't censor my finger. Censorship is a fucking idea that is retarded. And it's merely an idea. That's it. Okay, so let's keep reading. Murdoch concluded that Blogsphere has succeeded in terrorizing many senators and congressmen who previously committed to supporting SOPA and PIPA. Don't care about people not, con not buying movies, programs, or newspaper, just stealing them, he concluded. That's taken out of context. The context is somewhere. I would really like to read this as the guy wrote it because this website is obviously distorting his words a little bit and swaying the opinions of whoever reads this because we don't have the entire context that this uh, these comments were put into. People have no rights. You can't steal something from someone if they have no right. Uh, ultimately, we exist in a world of anarchy, and you choose not to see it because you believe in a system. If you don't believe that we exist in a, a system of anarchy, why don't you look up the Fibonacci sequence? Uh, it presents the way a sunflower grows to us. The way that a lot of things happen in the world, naturally. Uh, in a sense, the Fibonacci sequence is chaos. And chaos is anarchy. Therefore, stealing is neither right nor wrong. Uh, it's simply justified by morality. <clears throat> For more, see the top five objections to SOPA. Ooh, let's do that. Top five objections to SOPA. Hip hop, blah, blah, blah. Thousands of websites have pledged to go dark today in opposition. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that picture. In opposition to pending anti piracy bills currently making their way through Congress. Reddit, Wikipedia, Mozilla, and WordPress are just a few of the sites that will be inaccessible on Wednesday. Did it say Google? No. And it is Wednesday, right? Is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. All right. Um, in protest of the Stop Online Piracy Act and the Protect IP Act. Uh, excuse me. 
The bills would allow the Justice Department to obtain court order and go after overseas rogue websites that traffic in fake goods. Uh, from purses to prescription drugs, the DOJ, Department of Justice, could have these sites removed from search engines while copyright holders could have the agency target sites they believe to contain infringing content. Uh, detractors believe SOPA and PIPA are too broad and could have uh, unintended consequences for legitimate sites. I agree with that 100%. Uh, the government's gaining too much power, plain and simple. Most, most are in agreement that something needs to be done about websites offering pirated goods, but how exactly to accomplish that goal remains a sticking point. SOPA sponsor Rep. Lamar Smith argued yesterday that U.S. legislation needs to protect the consumer that protects consumers, businesses, and jobs from foreign thieves who steal America's intellectual property. Okay, that screams racism to me. Um, racism of huge amounts, and racism is ultimately very stupid. Uh, the reason why it screams racism to me is because I don't believe in stealing as being morally bad. Stealing is just somebody else looking up to you, uh, in a sense. Or at least that's how I view it. Um, other people obviously aren't going to view it like that, but uh, whatever. They can view it however they want. It's their opinion. But consumer groups, websites, tech giants, and members of Congress, entrepreneurs, and more are not convinced. Voicing concerns with a variety of provisions in the bill. Here's a look at five that have been on their minds in the recent days. Okay, now... Consumer groups are websites, tech giants, members of Congress, entrepreneurs, and more. Uh, they are truly the ones that are abusing their power here. Uh, select websites, of course, obviously. Uh, the intellectual property of America should be the intellectual property of the world. We should not exist in multiple governments. We should exist in one. Uh, that would present us with a new problem, however, and possibly even create civil war, but let it come another day and we'll talk about it at a different time. Anti-circumvention! In a Monday blog post, the Electronic Frontier Foundation, EFF, took issue with several provisions in both bills, including one that would target, that would, quote, target sites that simply provide information that could help users get around the bill's censorship mechanisms. Ooh, cool. The EFF argued amounts to amounts to unconstitutional prior restraint against protected speech. That's exactly what I've been saying. Um, Marvin Amore, the a First Amendment lawyer, suggested that social media sites like Facebook or YouTube, basically any site where with user-generated content would have to police their own sites forcing huge liability costs onto countless internet companies. And that's absolutely true. Um, YouTube can't afford to do that. If, if 
If this bill passes, our government will crash. Um, so, in a sense, I think our economy will become worse because of this, this bill. And I feel very strongly about this bill being opposed. Um, it has its balances, though. Uh, if the bill goes through, it could be a good thing. But there needs to be several limitations on what the government can and cannot limit us to hear or see or do or take or be a part of. Um, this combined with the act that I was talking about earlier where the government pretty much has a right to declare any place on earth a battlefield and detain anyone for any reason uh, I don't even know that I feel safe talking about this in my own home um, if they're talking about limiting what I can and can't say on YouTube uh, freedom of speech man like seriously like I need to reset the video again